Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Officially a freshman at Quinnipiac University. This is the day that like you've been waiting for for so long. I'm Kayla, I'm a sophomore at Penn State. I'm a sophomore in college. I'm a junior. Officially today, I'm a junior at Penn State. Guys, I am a senior in college. Oh, <laughs> what? Okay, I started this channel when I was a senior in high school and I've, you know, taken you guys along with me. Some of you guys have been around since I was a freshman and I was going to Quinnipiac and then the whole fiasco when I decided to transfer and a lot of you guys started watching once I started at Penn State during the summer semester. This sounds crazy, but I'm already having a post-grad crisis a year early. Look, I'm, it's starting to hit me, and it's been a whirlwind of emotions. So yeah, a few weeks ago I ended, and I came home, and it wasn't like a traditional end, because like, it was all online, and I wasn't moving out of a dorm, so it felt so weird. Just kind of woke up one day, and my semester standing just said senior, so that's lovely. Part of me like, cried. Part of me was like so excited and just like was celebrating. It was a weird, it's just such a weird feeling. I can't even begin to imagine what I'm gonna feel like a year from now. I'm starting to not be sad anymore and I'm starting to realize that this is a new beginning that's gonna be coming up soon. I'm also feeling this crisis when it comes to YouTube. I, I know like every college creator like goes through this where you feel like there's an expiration date to your channel. I have this like impending doom with my channel that when I graduate I'm just gonna fall off and lose all subscribers and like not grow anymore. And I'm trying to think now of like longevity with my channel and social media and what I want to do with it. I'm also having a crisis with what I want to do with my life. Like once I changed my major last spring, like once I officially declared. I've loved every second of it and I love my major so much. If you guys don't know, I'm in health and human development and my like actual focus is human development and family studies and I love my major so much. But part of me also like deep down is like, I feel like I belong in something <laughs> creative and something untraditional like part of me just knows that it's gonna happen one day and I don't know how or what I don't know what's gonna lead me to there but that's part of that crisis that I'm having right now that I wanted to talk to you guys about because I know everyone goes through it and I just like I don't know it's weird because like I want I know what I want to do for grad school and I love the programs I'm applying to and I would be heartbroken if they rejected me. Like I, I literally would, cause that's what I want to do as like a traditional career, whatever. But also part of me is like, I want to do something untraditional and crazy and out of the blue and have my own business or do social media stuff for as long as I can or do, I don't know, I don't know. But I also know that like, I gotta finish paying off college when I graduate. So I need to have a traditional job, <laughs> do what I've like studied obviously and pay off my debt and live. But part of me also wants to like work on the side of whatever other passion project, side hustle, whatever I want to do. Oh my God, my camera is overheating big time. This is really bad. So that's like the crisis that I'm having with that. Anyone else feeling that way? I feel that way like every year I feel like. But it's just a weird thing now because I feel like, yes, I'm in the right major. I've chosen the right degree. But part of me is like, what else more is out there? Like, it's just weird because like deep down, I have this thing where I have this gut feeling of knowing that I'm not gonna work a traditional job and my job is going to be very like creative and unique. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Let me know if you know what I'm gonna do. So anyways, so that kind of leads me to what I wanna do this summer because I need to start like exploring some other interests and if we're being real this summer, like I do have a, I do have a job that is only for like a week or two in the summer. It's a leadership academy that like I absolutely love and I'm so passionate about. This is the first summer where I'm not taking at least one summer class for college and um, 
I'm excited to like have free time. It feels weird, but I'm like, this is the summer that I need to figure out what I'm passionate about and work on it and just do it. Like just do it. So, and I have so much that I want to explore and try. I have a whole list of things that I want to do, videos that I want to film and other like projects that I want to try and work on like I have it ready to go in my mind and I've been wanting to try it out and I'm like this is the summer to do it because next summer I will either be in grad school or working a real adult job this is like the last summer of like my youth yeah I like really want to work on YouTube and take it seriously because I want to start transitioning my channel into something that is more long term which is like really scary to think about and I don't want to like lose people along the way um but I'm I have more ideas than just like college week in my life vlogs like I love making that content and I still will senior year obviously okay so then this also leads me into the perfect transition for the sponsor of today's video Skillshare I love Skillshare and I love working with them because it is a platform that like genuinely makes me so excited to learn about new things and try out new realms of like creativity and learning, you know, like all that stuff. So if you guys have never heard of Skillshare, it's an online learning community where millions of users are able to come together to take thousands of classes in quite literally any category. I swear Skillshare has everything and I'm surprised every time I log in because there's always something new, which is so cool. So this summer I want to take more like businessy classes on Skillshare and learn about like marketing techniques, planning techniques, things like that, just because I feel like that's very useful for like my real my real world stuff, my real life that's ahead. So there's stuff in tech, business, film, photography, more physical art stuff like painting, calligraphy. They have everything. I love Skillshare and now that I'm done with like my traditional college classes for the semester, I want to explore other classes and learn about things that I'm like really passionate about. I'm excited to use Skillshare this summer. Like real, like yes this is sponsored, but like real stuff here. So anyways, the first thousand of you guys that will click the link in the description will get a free trial of a Skillshare premium membership. Definitely check them out. They're super affordable. A yearly membership is around $10 a month. Okay, so anyways, now let's get into some ideas for videos that I have this summer and like other things that I want to try out. I don't want to give away specific details just because one of them is like a pretty big project that I'm working on that you guys will see by June because I want to get that out by June. But this summer I want to crank out the college content as well since it's my last summer doing it. Like expect the shopping videos and like the back to school stuff per usual since this is literally the last time that I could ever make those videos which is so sad because that's like how I grew my channel. But this summer I want to focus on creating a relationship with you guys also more and like talking to you guys more in the comments and like I try to respond to like Instagram DMs. Sometimes it can get out of hand because I get like spam messages too. I'm so sorry if I don't respond to your DM. I try to respond to everything that I see. But yeah, so some ideas that I have for like longevity with like YouTube and stuff. I want to make more unique content about not only just like my real life and whatever, just like more like casual lifestyle vlogs, but I also have some like passion projects that I'm working on that comes kind of in relation to college stuff but also like planning organization but in a serious more like unique creative way that's kind of what I want to explore with my channel this summer like slowly integrating a new genre in a more serious like put together genre but also keep like the lifestyle casual vlogs but also incorporate like more produced not necessarily produced videos but sit down videos that just have more substance to it like not just this i am a virgo and i don't know much about like astrological astronomical no astrological signs but i'm like very big into planning and organizing and all that stuff and i want to use that to my advantage in some things that i do on youtube and some advice that i could give and make it very like creative and unique basically I just like want people to watch my videos for me and for the brand that I'm creating and not just for college stuff because I only have one more year and 
I don't want this to end in a year. I really don't. Like I've worked so hard to create this and build this and I love and appreciate you guys so much and I don't want to lose you guys. Like I really don't. So I have to start thinking long term with some ideas. So basically, long story short, I'm a senior in college. I am in shock. I don't know where the time has gone. I'm gonna be 21 in four months. I'm moving into my new apartment in a couple of months as well. Big things, big things are coming with that. I need to do a video also with Jacob so he could talk about like his experience because now he's a junior and he's gonna turn 21 in a few weeks and he's going through like life changes. He just got this awesome job he's so excited about and big things are coming in his life too. And I love when I have them in the videos. It's like so fun. I never want to become like a couple channel. I hate family channels. I think it's so weird. Like I think it's so weird. I would love for him to like come in the videos too. We've like talked about also, this is another weird thing. We've talked about like maybe making a podcast. I low-key would love a podcast with Jacob because it's, we have like, we have such an interesting and fun dynamic to our conversations. And sometimes we talk about the weirdest, most like deep stuff, whatever. But I feel like that would be so funny in a podcast. Eh, you know, couples podcasts are not a new idea. I just think it would be so funny. So stay tuned for that maybe. That's one thing that I'm exploring. That's like one idea that I'm thinking of. But I'm first trying to brainstorm episode ideas of things we would talk about. I would have to plan out like 10 to 12 episodes at least before we even start recording or thinking of it. But as sad as I am to leave Penn State and I love Penn State and you know what? Okay, I get hate comments all the time about like your school is a cult and everyone is just, I, you know, not ashamed to say that I love my college to death. And you know what? Sure, some people can make jokes on TikTok that people at Penn State peak in college, whatever. I love my college experience and this has by far been the best four year segment so far of my life. But I'm not gonna say that college is the best four years of your life because it shouldn't end after college. Like you shouldn't peak at college. I think that it's a fantastic four year segment and I will miss it dearly. Oh my God, I can't even, I can't even express to you guys how much I'm gonna cry over this next year. But also part of me is excited to move on and I'm gonna make the best of this year I'm gonna really soak it in and be present and just make it make senior year my year so many amazing things to look forward to but it's not the end it's just the end of a chapter I don't know if you've made it this far into the video thank you I love you all like I seriously appreciate and love you all I love like this community that we're making. I feel like we have just had a great therapy session talking about life and ranting. And I get to do this for my therapist again tomorrow at 10 a.m. I hope she's ready. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. My throat is parched. I need to go inside. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.